My name is Sophie Mangold, and I'm going to ask Mrs. Anna Reno a few questions. First question is, how long have you been with the parish? Well, actually, Sophie, we've been with the parish, and I say we because it's my whole family, since the very beginning of the parish. Um, when we found out that there was going to be a St. Bridget of Kildare Parish, um, Deacon Frank was asked to be part of the very beginning of the parish. Monsignor Inky knew that he was going to be the only priest here, and he knew he would need some help, so he asked Deacon Frank if he would like to come and be the first deacon. The second question is, did you touch the church bells? I did touch the church bells. It was a snowy, cold December day, and they had the church bells laid out on a truck, kind of a flatbed truck, and they had them all decorated with Christmas greens, and they're huge. I had no idea that church bells were as big as they are, but it's kind of fun to know that I saw them up close before they went up into the bell tower. Did you go to the first Mass? If you did, what was it, what was it like? Well, actually, I did go to the first Mass. Um, I actually went to the first Mass that was held at the Muirfield Pavilion, which was an outdoor Mass. Um, that was kind of fun, actually, on a Sunday morning. Instead of going to play golf, we went to Mass in the Pavilion instead. Um, my kids were really little. In fact, my son, who's 25, um, was just about six months old when we started the parish, so he was in a stroller and my daughter was kind of a toddler, and we had Mass in the pavilion. It was kind of fun. Then I was at the first Mass when we moved on to Scottish Corners Elementary School, which was in the fall. Um, they opened when school started, and so we started having Mass in their cafeteria. And then we moved to the building at, on the grounds of the parish, um, to what is now Anki Hall, and we had Mass in that was the chapel at that point, so we had Mass there. Um, and then I was at the first Mass in what's now our beautiful church. Cool. Do you like belonging to this church? If so, what makes you like it so much? Well, I do love this parish because obviously since I've been here from the very beginning, um, it, it's very fun to be a part of something that was brand new when we started here. Um, there's also another interesting reason, I think, that I like this parish is because the parish that I grew up in, in Cleveland, was called St. Bridget. So it's kind of a nice memory for me when I attend church at St. Bridget of Kildare to remember the St. Bridget church that I attended when I was young. Cool. Does this church have a lot of history to it? What parts have you been a part of? <laughs> well, it does have 25 years of history, um, and, and in many respects I do feel lucky because I feel like I've been a part of it from the very beginning. Um, it's kind of hard to believe that 25 years has gone by, mm -hmm. um, but it's been very fun to see it grow because when we started out it was a, it was a very small parish the first year or two, and to now be such a large parish, one of the largest parishes in the diocese. But I feel very connected to it since I was here from the very beginning. Okay. What was the church land before it became a church? Well, the church land was a farm. You've probably heard other people say that. Um, I do remember driving up here with Deacon Frank in the car and Avery Road, which everybody probably knows out by where Kroger and Giant Eagle are, you could only drive about a mile north of that. And then that's when Avery Murfield Drive stopped. And Avery Road was just a little country road. There was nothing else out here except the farm. So we drove up, I remember we drove up and we saw the big white barn which is where the church is now. We saw that big white barn and the little farmhouse that used to be next door to it. And we pulled in the driveway and we got out of the car and we looked around and it was just farmland for as far as we could see, which is hard to believe now because it's nothing but houses and our parish <laughs> for as far as we can see. So it's very, very different um, when you think about what's changed in 25 years. 
Well, thank you um, for letting me interview you. Uh, I've learned a lot about the parish in the last 25 years. Thank you. And thank you for including me, because I feel very lucky that I've been able to be here from the very beginning of our parish.